Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know next time I have a video that uploads. I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time where I create junk journals live. On Thursdays, I have a recorded premiere video, meaning you can chat with me during the recorded video at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time Thursdays. Today, we're going to make some little... Christmas tags or gift tags. We're going to use the Gift Tags Cube rubber stamps from Beeline Design, some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and some other pieces of paper. This is kind of what we're going to make, little tags. I've got a, I believe it's EK Success. This is like a little label punch, if you will. Um, you know, if you don't have this punch or can't get this punch, you probably have a die cut shape that you could use. You could also just cut a square and make it about, oh, probably two inches square is about what this one is. So I've got this two inch square and I'm going to take one of the stamps from the gift tags cube. This is the little Santa. And I've got black archival ink that I'll stamp right in the middle. So you want to make sure you stamp straight up and down. Don't rock your stamp. Push it firmly and then pick it up and you'll have a nice little image. I've got a two and a quarter inch square of a book page. And this happens to be from a large family Bible. And then I have a two and a half inch square of some red cardstock. But I want to round the corners so that they're not so sharp. So I've got my crocodile corner chomper. And I will round these corners. I want it on the half or quarter inch side. So I'll just round those corners. Now, looking at this, and I showed you the tag to begin with, we want to change this color that's on this piece of paper. And how I'm going to do that is I've got a scrap piece of paper here, and I'm grabbing a paintbrush. I just had it in some water. I've got a Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This one is called Christmas Tree, and it's from a Christmas Dream Tattered Angels kit. You get a set of six colors for $25.99 in my shop. Now it has mica in the bottom, so I'm shaking it up so that shimmer will be throughout the whole color of this liquid. And I'm taking the lid off. I know, crazy, huh? Now you could spray this in like a palette or something, but I find this is pretty quick and I don't really waste any. So I'm just grabbing my paintbrush, dipping it in the paint, and then I'm just going to go right around the edges of this piece of book page. If you want it super dark, just keep adding, but I like the color that this turns out to be once it's dry. And I'm only doing the outside edge because it's going to be covered up by another piece of paper. And this is a great way to change the color of an edge of paper. So now what I'm going to do is take my heat tool and dry this. And it may be hard to see on camera, but the screen has a beautiful gold shimmer to it. All right, so now I'm going to take my Distress Ink Walnut Stain and go around all three of these pieces. I like to angle in my blending tool when I go around a piece that I want to see more of the Distress Inks. So it kind of really gives it that vintage -y look. So what I want to do is I'm going to glue this piece down, the green edged to the red and then we're going to go to the sewing machine and I will sew around this outside edge. So I'm not really going to concentrate on how much glue I have because I know that when I stitch around that outside edge it will hold it in place. Now if you don't have a sewing machine you can make sure that you've got plenty of glue. You could use a pen. You could use these shabby stitches rubber stamp to go around the edge. Let's go over to the sewing machine. All right, so I'm at my electronic sewing machine and I have a standard needle. I have standard thread in my sewing machine. I have it set up to do a zigzag stitch. So it's a two and two is what I set it to. So it's kind of a narrow stitch. Do whatever you have. Don't worry about it. Yes, it's okay to sew on paper. Just keep your machine clean. All right, let's stitch around this. So I will start on one of the edges here and position my pressure foot and then I'm going to stitch to the edge and then just curve around to the other side. So I'm just going to gently curve and then keep going. There's our piece with the stitches. Let's go back to the main view. All right, so now that I've stitched that down, let's go ahead and place the Santa right on top. So this time I'll make sure that I have a good amount of glue all the way around. 
So I definitely want this to be a tag. I just noticed my camera's off. <laughs> I know I want this to be a tag. So I've got my crocodile a hole punch. So if you got a hole punch, it's about an eighth of an inch. You can use that. So I'll just punch a hole in the corner like so. And then I have some fibers. This is a kind of a green yarn fiber that's part of the Christmas Dream subscription box that's in my shop. And I've got a piece of wax linen thread that I folded in half. I find that it's so much easier to thread yarns or fibers through a hole if you have something that's easy to go through the hole to begin with. So now I'm just going to pull up the ends and then just tie a little knot. So this could be then tied onto a package or a gift. And then here are the other images that I use from the same stamp set. There's four stamps in this set. So you get the tree that's kind of like a little Charlie Brown tree. You have the little dove, you have the deer, and then you have the Santa. Well, I hope you enjoy seeing a quick way to make your own little gift tags. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check the description box below for links to the products that I use. Hey, and if you haven't joined the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, come on over, join us, have some fun, share your projects that you're working on. Feel free to ask questions, join our swaps that we have. So we have a lot of entertainment and sharing and love and kindness in that group. So do come and be a part of that. All right, everybody. Have have a fabulous day. We'll see you next time. Bye.